All right, we will be talking about a dynamic linker or dynamic loader. And uh, the uh, we are going to use uh, a printf function um, twice. We're going to call from our main function and uh, how the compiler, uh, compiler doesn't know where the printf statement is right doesn't know where the, exactly the location is at the compiler right at the time of compilation so it, it uses a table called pro procedure linkage table and where all the functions that you're calling is listed here okay this all done by the compiler it lists all the functions that you have called and with, with the first as the main where the dynamic linker loader is uh, low, uh, it kept it keeps that and uh, of course it's all run done run time and uh, here the so we'll start with the printer right so first time you're calling printer it's going to come to the procedure linkage table uh, right that's where the printer is there And uh, and here it says go to the next table called global offset table. That's where the actual functions address is kept. The actual runtime address, runtime address. Because the compiler doesn't know, it's going to call the services of the dynamic loader. Okay, so the second this. From the global address table, offset table. That is the second step. It's supposed to be the address of the printf, but it doesn't know where it is. So it's going to call the. I'm I'm I'm, I'm jumping a couple of steps ahead because that's not really matter at this stage. But all you've got to remember is uh, the actual address of the printf should be listed here, right? Should be listed here. But because we don't know that, it's going to call the dynamic loader. And the dynamic loader loads and searches the all the, the library C functions and finds that print of functions actual addresses 4400 this has the capacity to uh, search the libraries and figure out the actual address at runtime so this is like because library C is always loaded uh, in the system it searches that library and uh, and finds the uh, the actual address and uh, and writes the actual address in the in in this location all right in this location so here the actual address of the printf statement is kept here and the uh, the job is done printf gets executed and the control goes to the uh, to the second ne next line all right so here now we are done with the first one let's go and look at the second one right i'm going to use the maybe the peach one or maybe the blue here the second time when you call right it does the same thing but a little different okay and it comes to the same function all right second time And same thing, it goes to the uh, global offset table, right? The index X, it comes here. But now you see what I have. I have the actual address of the printf, the actual address. So now I will execute my printf directly. I don't have to go and load my dynamic loader to figure out the address because I already got the address right so 
just the gist of the story is here I have the first time when you call first time you call the printer it's going to ask the dynamic linker to figure out the actual address of the print of stay function in the libc and once it knows the address right it remembers next time so next time when you call the printf it executes printf directly and this is true for any function that you are calling the very first time when you call the dynamic loader linker will get kicked in and it they'll go and it will go and find the actual function and gets you the real address of the function and next time when you call you are going to uh, use that address directly to make it little faster okay so that is how um, uh, when you write a, a, a function a program right uh, when you write a uh, program uh, you don't know where the printf is right so it, it's all done uh, behind the scenes and uh, uh, that's why it's called dynamic linker okay 